What's going on gamers? I've got a video here to show you how to load balance your steel mills and your smelter. So you can see here, I've only got one smelter going and then I've actually got three steel mills going and you can see it's actually load balancing them. I, it will actually distribute, see this one's already being smelted here, into steel. So I've actually got one smelter hooked up to three steel mills and I'm gonna show you how to build this. So this is actually gonna be my new build. I've got a huge tower I'm building. This is gonna be about 45 steel mills going and because of that, because workers do not despawn stuff and steel mills do take a long time to actually smelt steel that we shouldn't have any despawn issues because it does take so long. So once I'm done with this build, I will show you how it looks at the end of this video. And then I want to show you something else over here I've actually got running. What you need to do in order to be able to achieve something like this, where you get two different resource islands connected together, you're going to need to make sure you actually remove one of your resource islands and try to get it to respawn next to your other islands. So the closer they are, the better. So in this situation, this just spawned uh, this morning and I was hoping it would uh, spawn really close to this one and it did. So chances are if you just kind of just, just go ahead and dig out your copper out of one of the islands that you want uh, to respawn somewhere else and hopefully it'll actually spawn over next to this one. If it doesn't, just keep doing it until it does. And then you can connect something like this where all you got to do is just AFK this all night. So you can just, just auto click that. It's actually a really, really cool method to be able to connect these. But we're going to go ahead and go back to the steel farm over here and I'm going to show you how to build this yourself. Now, one of the things you will need some materials you need, you're going to need some leaf clippers or some hedges. So you're gonna need some maple hedges or even any kind of hedge will work. You're gonna need some maple trees to cut their leaves because you're gonna need 10 in order to make one. And then you're gonna need a floral workbench for like this, this little guy. So you're gonna need like this. So make sure you're not using these types, like these little maple bushes. You're gonna need a hedge. You wanna use the hedge. I think you can also use a regular um, hedge if you want. So if you don't have maple, that's okay. But you can see here, I can make four of these so far. So we're gonna need one of these for every single level or layer that we do. So let's go ahead and head over here and I'm gonna go and show you how to do this build because it's not it's not that hard you do notice there's something here i'm just going to show you the bottom of this this is where they're all getting fed into right so, so it's basically a three-prong approach here and then you can see how these are getting fed down here it's actually been working really well basically it's looking like that and then it just goes straight up it, it works really well i'm surprised it works so well i'm going to make another build over here so we can get this started so we're going to go about 11 up just to make sure we're safe we're going to go about 11 up 9 10 11 that looks good so again 11 up we're going to do by like a three by three right here. And if you fall like I did, you could do like a little temporary ladder here. And then if you have an obby flag, even better, grab one of those, plop that out. So if you do this and if you fall, it'll just save you so much time. Okay, so we're gonna make this three back and you're gonna do something like this. And this is gonna go up. It's gonna look like that. But here, right here, you're gonna wanna do a conveyor and they're gonna do a conveyor right there. So basically you're gonna put two in the middle and then one on each side. And then you are going to block this by two as well. So like that. Hopefully that looks pretty clear to you. And we're gonna go ahead and put a light in the back just in case it gets dark while we're building. We don't want it to get too dark. This looks good. And then right in here, we're gonna put a hedge. And then we're gonna put a glass wall here, a little glass pane wall. So that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish this part right here. So how high we go on this, we're gonna go three up and then we're gonna do on the fourth block, we're gonna make our layer. So we're gonna go one, two, three, right? So this is good. And then for number four, we're gonna go ahead and block this out. So four is gonna go across and then you can do a wall back here. So you can see how that looks. And then we only need one little entry there. We only need one little hole right there because that's where the stuff's gonna get fed in. It's gonna drop down and it's gonna bounce around. So now we can go backwards. We can go about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go a little long and then that looks, that, that should be fine. And then same for here. So now what we can do is we can finish this conveyor because the conveyor is going to guide you to exactly where you need to go. So the conveyor, you're going to make a right and a left turn. So you're going to need a right conveyor and then you're going to need a left turn conveyor. So on our right turn, you're just going to connect this one right here because that's going to go to our right steel mill. And this is our left one. And that's going to go to our left steel mill. And this one's obviously going to go to the straight is going to go straight into our straight on steel mill. So let's go ahead and put a light out there as well, just so you can see what I'm doing. So we're looking pretty good here. So this is going to feed over here and we're going to need at least one conveyor on each of these, uh, one straight so that we can have a, a coal totem connected to it, right? So you, these do need a coal. So you're going to need to be able to have at least one on each of these to be able to feed our coal. So you can do one right there and one right there and you can put your coal totem on that and that and we can just connect that so it looks good. So we're gonna put a cold totem there, there, and there, right? These are gonna feed our steel mills. And let's go ahead and get our steel mills out. So let's go ahead and get three steel mills and we're gonna plop this one right here. We're gonna plop this one right here. 
And this one's just gonna basically tell you exactly where it needs to go, which is right there. That's as close as it can get. So that means you're gonna need to put another conveyor right there. And the reason is, is I think it's just too close to this. So that looks good. So that is our three steel mills. We're just missing the coal. I'm gonna go and put the coal on now so we don't forget. I don't want you forgetting. You're gonna be like, DV, it doesn't work. It's like, oh yeah, because you forgot to put the coal. So there's one right there. There's gonna be one right there and one right there. Coal totems, they can't, you can't put it on corners. You gotta put it on straightaways. Otherwise it won't work. So that looks good. Now we can go ahead and start on our, our smelter part. So we're gonna go up to our smelter area. And the way this is gonna work is you gotta turn it. So the, the problem is with the way the iron comes out of the actual smelter, the iron doesn't come out correctly. So the iron comes out at like a weird little angle. So if you didn't do this kind of load balancer, it would actually always go to the same spot, 100% of the time. It would always go to the like one of the one side. I think it's gonna be, I think it would only go to this side. And that's a big problem, right? Cause we're trying to load balance here. We're trying to balance one smelter to all three of these steel mills because these steel mills take so long, right? The steel mills take so long long to process one single iron into a steel. And so we don't really need a whole lot of iron. So if you were to do my old build, which you know pretty much had one steel mill to each smelter, it's just really inefficient. Uh, it was a really bad design on my part, but I didn't really have any choices because we didn't have a really good randomizer or load balancer. But now I've got a load balancer that works really, really well. And these steel mills are so cheap compared to smelters that you can have so many of them. So we don't really care about the number of steel mills that we have. We care about the number of smelters that we're using because you can actually end up with so much more steel still if you're if you have less smelters because the smelters are just causing so much despawn if you have too many of them so we're gonna go ahead and start this up we're gonna go ahead and put here we're gonna we're gonna work backwards okay so we're gonna start with a right turn see the right turn then we're gonna put another right turn on it like that and we need a left turn here like that and then we can connect the smelter directly to this and there it is and we're gonna need a couple just two conveyors only two and then we're gonna need some grass on the sides of these these conveyors. And in fact, we only need one, sorry, we only need one conveyor. That's all you need. And then we can put these here. And so go ahead and take that out, leave the light. It's okay, the light's still there and hanging out. And then we're gonna put the coal right in the middle, just so it looks good. And then we're gonna put the iron on the sides. And that should be plenty. That should be plenty of iron to feed all three of these. What's gonna happen is this middle one's gonna stack up the most out of all of these, but these are gonna get fed every now and then. So the middle's always gonna be a lot more frequent. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and start feeding this so you can see how this works. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is there's gonna be a slight difference in behavior when you actually load a fresh server. So you can see there's the right side and the middle side. See how the middle is getting two? That's gonna be a very common thing you're gonna see. The middle is always gonna get the most. So that's why you don't wanna have too much iron. But you see how fast the iron comes out? So this one's already got two pending and it doesn't need any more. We're hoping that this right steel mill actually gets fed pretty soon. And if it doesn't, just reload your VIP server. Just reload into your VIP server and it'll start working again. Yeah, there we go. See that? It just fed it. So it's working on both. Now, one of the things that I did notice though, I will tell you right now, if you're building and it just doesn't seem to be working, just like I said, reload the VIP server. But one thing I discovered is the behavior differences for these conveyors does change depending on the timing of your placement. So it looks like these are on individual speeds. So if I were to place this and then place this like a second or two seconds later, or even three seconds later, the timing might be different. So behavior actually changed. Like at one point it wasn't working for me anymore. Like I actually just like did something like this and then I replaced this and then suddenly it broke. That's all I did. And suddenly my, my balancer broke. And I didn't understand why it broke because I was like, it was working just a second ago, right? I was really frustrated that it wasn't working anymore. And then I discovered, I just replaced it again. And then I discovered it started working again. So I discovered that these timings might actually change the behavior of your drops. And then I tested anytime you go to a fresh server, right? It doesn't, it, everything's on the same timer. And that's what you want to test. That's, a, that's the true test to see if it's going to continue working after you reload the game. And it did continue to work. So that's great. You see this, this is all good. This is working great. You got a little bit of, you know, you got some stuff being fed. It's all just dropping to the nether at this point. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, right? So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take out this light just for a bit. And then we're gonna do something like this, little basketball hoop. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here like that. There we go, another basketball hoop. So we got the hoops and we need a back hoop as well. And that's another hoop, right? So we got our hoops. Okay, so at the bottom here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed this down, right? So we're gonna need to drop down. So this is where we wanna put our chest. So I'm gonna basically set it up so that industrial chest is actually right here. All right, so now I'm gonna put my industrial chest right here. 
and we're gonna put a conveyor there because I don't want it bouncing into it. So if you did this directly onto it, stuff would get stuck on the top of the chest. So you do need a conveyor in front of it like that. And now we can go and start stacking up. So we can do something like this. And now we need some stairs. So we're gonna do one there, one there. And you could use grass to kind of step them up like that. And we can go as far as we need to. So that's about all we need right there. See that? That's all we needed. Okay, so we do that, that, that. So we went too high, but that's okay. So you could just do something like that. Same for the other side. And then just go straight up on that. There we go. That looks good. So we can get rid of the dirt now. All right, that's good. All right, but we're gonna go ahead and feed this down. And then what we're gonna do is this side actually needs it as well. So here we go. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna go ahead and back this up. It goes exactly right there. So we can just feed that down, put our stairs. And there we go. So now we need to box this in. So the way I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do what we need to do. So first I'm, I'm gonna start on the sides of the stairs just to cover the sides. We're gonna start there and then we're gonna do another layer right after. Let's fix this over here. There we go. Now let's get rid of that dirt while we're at it. Cause we don't wanna waste blocks. We don't want unnecessary blocks whenever we can help it because that block limit, you just, and it takes forever to load more blocks. So we like to clear any blocks whenever we can that aren't used. Okay, so this is good. Let's go this side, do that side. So this load balancer took me forever to find, by the way. I experimented, 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 experimented until I just found it. And I honestly just, I'm so glad to finally find it because I just, I man, I, I tried everything. I tried so many things. I tried so many objects because at first I didn't use that height for the hedge and it wasn't working. So you needed that specific height for the hedge to work. And then I noticed by doing it reverse, it worked really, really well by reversing the direction. I don't know, I got lucky on it. So let's make sure this is sealed. All right, that looks good. It's already catching it. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. That's it in a nutshell. So if you wanna actually layer this, it is pretty easy as long as you have an obby flag. Otherwise you're gonna be falling a lot. But basically you're gonna do the same thing, right? You're gonna have to elevate this stuff. So this is gonna have to get piped up. So this part's gonna have to get piped all the way up like that and you'll need to keep going up and if you want to save blocks just do a plus sign so you just do like a plus pipe instead that'll save you a lot of blocks like you don't need all this like you're going to optimize aspects of the farm for sure i only do squares because it's easier for people to follow but you do something like that as well if you really want to and you just keep going up and you need a layer again you know so it's pretty much the same thing it's stacked so i'll show you an example of what it looks like over here into the darkness so you can see this is the first layer over here and then I've got another layer up top, right? Okay, so you can see I've got two layers here. So in my original build here, I kind of messed up on the size or the spacing. So I did have to do like a little bit of an extension, but it's basically the same concept. And you just layer it and layer it and layer it all the way up. I've got too many totems on this one here. Should be that. And that's been working pretty well for me. So I'm gonna actually time it. So I'm gonna finish this build out and I'm gonna time it and see how well it does. And I'll show you at the end of this video. All right, so we're done with the tower and we've got some good progress here. So it is making 4,600, actually it's almost like 4,700 per hour, which is crazy. So one thing I will tell you is this side right here is not very effective. It is a little slow. Um, I would not recommend taking that approach as much as just doing the two, but you can still do it. It is still, so if you have an excess of steel mills, it doesn't really affect you that much. Um, you're not really losing anything other than a little bit of coal. So, you know, it's, it is, it is nice because I have so many of them. I don't mind doing it. I still have another 40, almost 40 steel mills to use if I wanted, but that's going to create despawn anyway. So it's not really, really worth it for me to do that. But I will tell you right here, if you did want to block it, you can just disable that side and put up, put a wall up. So some of these are actually active, not all of them. So that one's active not active, not active. So sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. It's like a 5% ratio. There's one that's active. This one gets about, I'd say 30 to 40%. That's a pretty good ratio. And then the middle is obviously gonna get the most. So if you were gonna disable anything, I would just disable the left side if you can't really afford the steel mills. But this design is so much better than my previous build. That's why I'm posting it because this does not use one smelter per steel mill. This actually uses one smelter per three steel mills. So every three steel mills requires one smelter, which is really nice, right? So I would say go ahead and go with this design. Maybe disable the left side if you can't afford the steel mills. Um, that would require only 30 steel mills instead of the 45 that I'm using. And it'll only require 15 smelters to get that number. So this is hooked up to an auto steel press. So it, it's gonna automatically make steel plates. And then over here, I'm actually gonna hook up yet another steel press. So I'm gonna have a steel press that's actually making the bolts on this side. And the way I've set this up, I'll show you a little peek inside, is because it's a double space. See how 
five just did a little offset and you can offset it by just making sure that one of them is a little higher than the other. So you can make two spots at the bottom. And then I just kind of put a little bit of uh, glass panes down here to slow down the speed. And that way you can actually uh, make two still presses automatically. The same steel mill is actually gonna do two different types of parts for you all at once. And it's just gonna store in there. So I've made another three steel plates right then. So over here, I'm actually gonna be making, I just need to make another still press, which is gonna take a little bit of parts. And then I'm gonna hook that up. But you can see here, I've got so many still presses going and it's a good design and it works. So hopefully you're gonna be able to follow along and let me know how your still mill goes. And uh, if you like the video, hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you are new. And hopefully we'll have some news here about this upcoming update. Maybe it's factory part two, I can't wait for it. So I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy.